Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to be doing some winter decor. I made some homemade skis that and poles that would hang on your front door to welcome your guests. So I took some scrap wood that I had. Uh, it's 24 inches long and I cut them down the middle um, and made two and a half inch wide skis and made some little points on the end to make it look a little more authentic. Cut those tips off on the skis and just kind of use that as a template to cut out the next one. I've been wanting to make these for a long time, so I'm pretty excited about them and uh, couldn't wait to, to make them up. So just giving them a little sand, uh, or actually a lot, it took a lot of sanding to get them down because again, this is scrap wood and the top was planed or sanded, but the bottoms are not. And I wanted to make sure that when these were handled, you didn't get splinters and things like that because I do plan on selling them on Facebook Marketplace and on my new Etsy store. So if you have not checked that out, uh, there is a link down in the description. And I try to put my stuff on there before I upload my videos, or at least before I make them public, so that if you are interested in purchasing any of those, they are on there for you to purchase. So one pair I'm giving a coat of flat black spray paint on the front and back. And the other pair I am staining and I'm using the Waverly Antique Wax watered down so that it will soak in really nicely. It gives it a nice brown stain color that I really like when you wipe it back. So I did the front and back on these as well because if it's hanging on a door, chances are you'll be able to see it from the other side. And I just wanted it to be finished off in the back. Now while those are drying, I'm just taking a spray paint cap and tracing that out on another scrap piece of wood to make the basket for the um, the poles that bottom little that bottom little ring circle that you have just before it goes down to the point so I traced that out cut it out with my jigsaw and now I am putting the holes in it so that I can take my dowels and put them down through and they go on pretty tight, so you have to work them on a little bit. Now I'm showing you here, I took a little extra time and with my sander, went on the very tip rounded those off a little bit to make them look a little more pointy. They're not super sharp, uh, it's just for the looks. Those are going to get the same treatment as the skis did. We're going to do one set with flat black spray paint. And I will distress these once they are dry and then seal them with sealer. That will get the antique wax watered down treatment all over. I will distress with some black spray paint and again seal this one with spray as well 
to keep it safe from the weather. This brush that I'm using has been with me for years and years and years and basically it's just a regular chip brush, nothing special. But what I do is I spray the spray paint right on the brush and then I brush it on to what I need and it gives it a distressed effect. It is so worn out and a mess, but it works well. So the black set of skis got uh, distressed with my sander and I just went around the edges and on the top and brought back through some of that wood look to give it a distressed look. And now I'm back upstairs and I'm wrapping the tops of the poles with a little bit of jute twine and just giving a little extra touch. I go down about, oh, it's about an inch, inch and a half from the top and then just start wrapping. And downstairs I had drilled a hole uh, down through the dowels to go down into the skis to hold them on. And so now that I'm back upstairs, I'm, I wrap them and then put those poles back on so that they would stay there. Now that these are going together, you probably can see that I'm taking the opposite colors or the stained ones went on the black pair of skis and the black poles went on the stained skis just to give it a pop of color and so that it wouldn't all blend in together. I think this looks really nice. And it just marries the pieces together. So I have a little piece of garland that I use just for small decor. And so I decided to cut off a piece probably I don't know, it's probably six or seven inches long. And we're gonna put them right in the middle where the skis and the poles cross. And I'm using a little bit of wire. It's like a floral, or it is a floral wire. Uh, I believe I got that off Amazon. I will put a link down in my affiliate link in the description below, along with several other links for things that I use on a daily basis and in most of my videos. So here I'm just cutting pieces of the floral wire and then wrapping them around the poles and skis to just make it a little more solid. This was to hang outside. You wouldn't want this stuff to fly around in the wind. I got these cute little skates from Dollar Tree when I went a few weeks ago and I saw them and knew exactly what I wanted to do with them. i had been planning to do these skis for quite a while and trying to figure out what to put on them for decor. So um, I glued the two skates together and then I wired them on to the greenery, of course. I did go back and go through the skates part and tie those down as well. You don't see that here, but I did it afterwards because I thought that they flopped around a little bit too much. And I made my own bows. I had some black and red checked bow uh, ribbon material, so I just looped the bows around. Um, and then here's the black and white that I have as well because I had a pair of black and white boots that I picked up as well. I also picked up a pair of plaid ones. I didn't do them in this video, but I had somebody ask me if I could make a plain red bow with, instead of the checked bow. So I did that and I just used the plaid boots to go with that one. So with both of these, I tied the boots and everything down with the floral wire. I added some red 
berries down at the bottom to stick out to make it pop a little bit more. And I added a hanger on the back and I also put a cute little fat little pine cone in the middle of the bow to dress that up as well. And that is all I did guys. So check out the end result. Don't forget to go down and check out my Amazon affiliate links and my Etsy store. The links will be down in the description. If you are interested in some more woodworking videos, check out this link right here. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.